Hey guys, check out this um, all factory iron OEM 2V iron head that's uh, CNC ported, which I think would be the first, wouldn't it? Um, this particular one here has had a lot of R&D um, gone into it over the years with this particular workshop. And, you know, just optimizing, you know, flow and um, certain characteristics that the 2V um, iron head uh, need or, or want. And they have sure have, you know, nailed it with this one. Just check out the nice work with that CNC program. Yeah, so this is as good as it gets, I think, when it comes for, you know, an all worked out, you know, um, 2V iron head. All the R&D has been done for you, you know, uh, the CNC program does all the port uh, work for you and, and there's some chamber um, reconfiguration there, you know. Um, and these heads, this is where they, you know, stop and hit a brick wall. Basically, they're good for around that 280 uh, CFM worth of flow, you know, which sort of equates to about 500 to 510 um, horsepower worth of flow, if you would call it. A lot of people don't realise that it takes a fair bit and a serious and stout combination to, to you know, make 480 plus horsepower out of a iron 2V headed Cleveland um, combination. And, you know, it's it's it, it's that old saying, you know, if you, if the head's not there for it, it's, it's going to struggle to try and make, um, you know, power gains at the end of the day. And uh, with the 2V head, it just seems, it doesn't matter uh, which head guru you take it to, um, it just seems to bottom out around that um, horsepower and that flow uh, mark. These guys have tested these um, CNC ported iron 2Vs on their own test mule uh, engines and you know surprisingly on a pump fuel solid cam combination uh, with a single plane uh, recorded 505 flywheel horsepower and they did a manifold swap with an air gapped uh, dual plane and recorded 400, 481 horsepower and they even did one with a um, uh, stroker uh, combination, a 383 cubic inch stroker Cleveland with a solid roller stick in it and surprisingly it recorded 547 flywheel horsepower. Now that to me is badass for a 2V headed Cleveland, I'll tell you that. If you guys remember I spoke about, or actually I wrote about in one of my real early posts about my um old school uh, 2V iron headed combination I had in the 90s and um, you know when I dropped off those heads to you know one of the best guys around at the time um, and you know he just went to town with these heads of mine back then and you know uh, he called me up and he goes mate th th this this is it you know th this is the best he can do with all his knowledge and input into those 2V iron heads and I remember uh, he flowed them and they, they flowed around the 510 to five, 505 uh, mark. I remember him, him giving me a sheet. And that's how they, you know, gave us um, head flow results back then with horsepower potential capability. And, um, and yeah, you know, and that combination was pretty stout. Um, you know, it was a 351 cubic inch. Um, you know, it was a 10.5 to 1 compression motor. It had a Wii and accelerator 2V intake on it, 750 double pumper um, with those 2V heads. And the cam I selected for that was an old school Cam Dynamics cam. And it was very similar in spec to the, you know, to the popular Crane F246 grind. It was just a little different, but it was real close to that. And, you know, and in a 3,500 pound car, you know, stick shift, it was a top loader. We went 12 O's, uh, 12 ones at 117. And, you know, that's pretty badass for the nine years in a 2V headed, you know, straight up 351 combination. Particular combination of mine uh, reeled off 340 rear wheel horsepower back then, which is pretty stout, you know, probably equates to, you know, a good 450 flywheel horsepower which isn't too bad for the 90s, you know, running 12 O's. 
And, you know, just like uh, this CNC um, ported head with their, you know, tests that they did with their own combinations, you know, making 500 plus horsepower. And, you know, you got to think about it. It's pretty stout. You'll, you know, you'll, you'll find that some, you know, late model LSs with some port work, you know, big cam swaps and induction setups are struggling to make that 500, 540 flywheel mark. So, you know, it goes to show why these Clevelands, you know, were the kings of the 70s, 80s and 90s, you know, both in 2V and 4V configuration, no doubt. Here you go, guys, a badass set of uh, 2V iron OEM heads right there, all CNC uh, ported, and, you know, it doesn't get better than that. Um, I think they retail for 2700 Australian, which is like 1800 US, and that's all complete. You know, CNC ported, machined, you know, ISKI 8005 um, springs, you know, stainless steel, single groove um, uh valves you know 10 degree locks retainers and all that business um and yeah and don't get too phased out with you know oh you know extensive port work it's whatever the head has to offer at the end of the day you know every head has a limit so even with this particular head it's it's biggest and i know you know flow cfm isn't you know everything we've all learned that now but um you know, if you look at that, it peaks um, there at 282 CFM at 700 thou um, valve lift, you can see there. And, you know, which pretty much is an out-of-the-box stock, as is iron 4V head, what that can deliver if we're comparing just, you know, um, uh, flow in CFM. And we know now, you know, with what everyone's come out with and, you know, with, with all the information out there that you know, flow and CFM is and everything. Sure, these little 2Vs have, you know, got that um, great airspeed, especially in the early lift ranges. And, you know, sure, you might get that strong feel of acceleration, you know, real early in the RPMs to about mid-range, but it's nothing that the 4V iron head can't do with an extra, you know, 500 RPM on top of the whole lot. And, you know, between both heads, it's night and day difference. I've had a number of badass 2V combinations in the past and, and you know, I've also done the 4V headed thing and, you know, there's just no comparison. But, yeah, I mean, I, you know, nothing wrong with the 2V iron set of heads. They're everywhere, especially, you know, the Australian uh, close chamber um versions which uh came out in production 302 cubic inch clevelands and they're just floating around everywhere and they're the better ones to get you know they've got the quench pad and all that um over its open chamber variant thanks guys thanks again for tuning in